Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this parallel effects slash transition. This is super easy to do and it looks super clean as well. So this is how I do it. So in my timeline, you can see these two clips I lined up, which I'm gonna add the effect on between. So firstly, to start off, what you gotta do is make an adjustment layer. To do that, you can just hit right click and new. An adjustment layer or in shortcut you can hit ctrl alt y on a keyboard to make an adjustment layer really easily and in the adjustment layer the first effect will be a warp puddle warp puddle right here and as and as soon as you add it you can see all of these puddle effect like the water drop effect going on it's a sapphire plugin if you don't already know so it looks super cool so now we're gonna adjust some values on here so firstly i'm gonna keep him both of my values on the footage cut right here as you can see then just lower down the frequency a little bit to something like this to something like 1.9 or something like that nothing too much here and go a bit further like two frames forward and set it to zero and go a bit further again like about like here and then set it to zero back to zero again like that then i'm gonna mess with the frequency a little bit as well then put this keyframe in the beginning right here and go over to the end and just bring down the frequency so it's around zero something like that i guess i'm gonna like bring up the amount at the beginning as well like that yeah that's perfect now then you can just easy those keyframe and in the frequency keyframe i like to make a simple graph like this so it's a bit faster don't do it too much just a bit subtle like that yeah that looks pretty clean right there after that easy keyframe you can see this cool little transition that we have the polar transition but we're gonna add more effects to spice it up before getting more into the video i just want to let you know i just dropped my ultimate 3d title bundle which comes with my latest pack 3d decks and title preset and one of my og pack the 3d title pack you already know the bundle allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video so firstly we're gonna add a distort chroma onto this a sapphire distort chroma this is also a plugin and bring up the blur lens at the start to around 120 or 150 somewhere around there and hit the stopwatch in blur lens and amount together then you can lower down the amount at the beginning as well like we did with the puzzle and go over to the end and bring down the amount then just bring up the blur lens as it goes so it like explodes in you can even like mess around with keyframes if you like. I just think the amount is really too much. So something like that. Then you can select those keyframes as well and easy ease those. And I guess that looks pretty cool right there. You can even like mess around with amounts and all those good stuff. But I think I'm gonna keep it simple right now. After the warp portal, you can add like any type of glow that you want. In my case, I'm gonna use optical glow and bring up the amount a little bit and bring up the size a little bit and lower down the highlights only on like there and you can just give him the amount as well the same way that we did with other effects in the end the zero then you can add like a flicker as well with it and keep him there as well so something like 0.70 and reset it at the first and reset it at the last now we can see we have the transition almost ready but it doesn't look smooth as we want so to make it more smooth i like to add a little sauce in here which is a simple zoom in the first clip so i'm gonna hit s to bring up the scale on my first clip let's just close this one and hit the stopwatch in there and go over to the end and just bring up the amount so it zooms in like over 300 around 300 i mean then you can just easy those go into graph and make a simple tight graph something like that but it like zooms in smoothly like that and make sure you also have your motion blur turned on that little thing right there makes this transition so smooth and lastly to top it all off i like to pre-comp all of these and add my favorite plugin rsmb into here and just bring up the motion sensitivity and turn on the gpu so after all my final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this you can also follow me on instagram i'm really active in there so yeah see you in next video peace